On this latest segment of You Ask, We Answer, uh, David wants to know if 100% of plastic collected in your recycling bins is actually recycled and where those materials end up. News 19's Mike Biermeister joins us now in the studio with more. And Mike, what did you find out? Residential, commercial, and industrial recycling in the La Crosse area all come together at Harder's Quick Cleanup and Green Circle Recycling. This is their state-of-the-art single-stream recycling center. It was built in 2013. 100% of plastics with the numbers 1, 2, and 5 get recycled. That includes items like milk jugs, soda, and shampoo, as well as detergent and motor oil bottles. Those items are packaged and shipped to mills and manufacturers around the Midwest. Most of the time, the materials are recycled into what they used to be, but plastics can be used for other items like carpet and even paint cans. Harder's Quick Cleanup's Lace and Comstock explains what happens to all the other plastics that are not able to be recycled. Residual is uh, our, our stuff that can't be recycled. That actually goes to um, Excel Energy Waste Center over on French Island and converts into uh, energy. And according to Comstock, once the plastic gets burned, it's turned into ash and returned to the landfill. Here's what you need to remember when recycling. No soiled food containers can be recycled. Dirty bottles and jars should be rinsed out. And do not bag recyclables. All items should be placed loosely into the cart. Of course, be sure to flatten boxes as well. The big item Comstock recommends, check if your items are actually recyclable. Do not wish cycle and also do not recycle plastic bags. Most stores have return areas for you to drop them off. And since this is my last report here at WXOW, I just want to say a big thank you to our evening team and to our viewers for this great opportunity. So for one final time here in the studio, Mike Biermeister, News 19. And Mike, we want to thank you as well for your years covering the Cooley region here. And a heartfelt thanks from me for stepping up and carrying the torch for our daybreak viewers each morning. We wish you all the best and you can see Mike one more time tomorrow morning on daybreak before he heads off to continue his journalism career in Milwaukee. We wish him all the best and for a breakdown of how to prepare your recycling cart, you can head to harders.net. We've got that link over at WXW.com as well.